Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video. This is a Try It Tuesday where I am going to use a new product with you for the first time. This is the BYO Blush by Euphoria. So this was recommended by one of you, Jill, out in San Francisco, and she and I are quite aligned on products, so I had to give it a go. Now, I wasn't familiar with this brand. I had never heard of it. So what they say, it's the world's first color-changing blush oil that reacts to your skin's pH in order to give you the perfect flush. There is one shade that is universally flattering and it retails for $36. This is not a brand I was familiar with. It was created by Fiona Cochan and she believes the best part of makeup is having fun with your friends, which means occasionally falling asleep in makeup. And it's why they test all of their makeup by sleeping in it. Please don't do that. Just please, please, please don't ever do that. So they say it contains 20 plant-based ingredients, so it's kind to the skin. So they had 37 participants wear this every day, sleep in it overnight to see the results. None of the participants had dryness, irritation, breakouts, anything. Please don't do this. Please, please, please wash your face every day. Double cleanse to get everything off. Anyway, there are a couple of different ways that you can apply this. One is you put it underneath your makeup. The second is that you apply it over your foundation. Plus, they said you can also mix this with your foundation to create a tonal blush. So I'm gonna do two of these applications today. And I'm gonna start off by putting it under my makeup. So right now, I have no foundation on. I do have eye makeup on. I have a tiny bit of concealer feeling a little tired this morning. So if you have nothing on your face, you can start by applying it directly to your skin and then either use a beauty blender or a brush in order to blend it in. So that's what we're gonna do first. So I like to put my blush up here so it's sort of on the higher side. Oh, it's clear, it's an oil. You can see a little bit of that pigment there. Oh, okay, that's pretty heavily pigmented, isn't it? Good to know. What's really funny is that this is actually what my skin looks like most mornings when I wake up, when I have my own natural redness in the skin, which by the way, I'm generally trying to cover. But, um, wow, yeah, that looks very, very natural. You can see there's nothing there. Wow. If you wanted just a little bit of color in your face in the morning without any makeup, gosh, that's really gonna deliver, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more here and just pat that in. Okay, already I'm pretty impressed with that. Now, Gary, can you see a difference there? No, oh, it's red. <laughs> Not that I'm going for red, but that looks like a natural flush. I mean, truly. Wow. Okay, that looks like I'm not wearing anything on my skin. It does not look like I'm wearing blush. It looks like I just have a bit of color, a bit of pop. Okay. I'm pretty impressed with this so far. So the next, I'm gonna put on some foundation and we're going to apply it over the foundation. So I'm using my True Match um, by L'Oreal. This is the Tinted Hydrating Serum. I love it so. I hated the dropper, so I replaced to pump myself. So now I'm putting this over that blush and we'll see whether or not it allows some of that to shine through. And I doubt it's going to, but it's also quite light. It's a very light makeup, so it just might. Okay, it seems to have covered that up. So if you wanted the underpainting, which is where you put your blush and your contour and all that stuff underneath your foundation, you would probably need to layer this up a bit more because I'm not seeing it really much at all. Okay, so that's me foundation on. I just did one little layer there and I think we're ready to go. So pretty much I think that the foundation covered up all of that blush. So apparently if you already have a foundation on your skin, they don't want you to put the dropper directly on. And in fairness, I don't know if that's because it's gonna interact with it or because they don't want you to contaminate it now. I probably shouldn't have applied it to, to skin anyway because there's a contamination issue there, but whatever. So what they say to do is to apply it to the brush. So I have a little brush here. This one is by Sonia Kojak, which I got from Target. Put a little, a few drops on there and just apply it to that area. It definitely adds a bit of a blush. Now it's funny because this is reacting to the pH in my skin. So it's telling me this is what color it should be. And this is the, probably the color, well, I know it is the color that my skin produces because if I'm carrying a lot of redness, for which I typically use foundation to cover, that's the color that it is. Like that is the color that my skin generates. Now, when I choose a blush, I tend to go more for corals and on the orangey to the pinky side, but this looks very natural. And I mean, I guess that's the whole point. If this is my color, 
this is what matches my skin. I'm pretty impressed, I have to say. I, I think it looks very natural. I am super impressed with this. Like I said, it's not the color I would choose, but it actually looks like it is my color. That's the color that my skin creates. Oh yeah, no, that's very nice. Oh, that's very, very nice. I mean, it just, it just looks like, looks like me. What I wish I had is more people here and <laughs> different skin tones to try this on to see what it does to theirs. Now, their website does show this product against multiple skin tones, so that would be very worth checking out. This is very impressive. I think it might also work as a good sort of, you know, eyeshadow. Um, I might have to try that next time, but since I've already put my eye makeup on, I could dab a little bit on that and it would bring out that color. I think that's fantastic. What do you think, Gare? Looks great. It looks great. Okay, I think this is great. I think it would be very easy to travel with as well. And it looks like you get a lot of product inside of here that I suspect it's going to last a really long time. And because it's an oil, it's not going to dry out, which I actually do prefer to a powder. Um, skin feels great. Look at that. Wow, oh, I think that's a bit of a success. Yay for Try It Tuesday. So guys, that is it for today's video. What do you think? Do you think it's a good color? I mean, in theory, it's my color, <laughs> but I'd like to know your thoughts. Have you tried this product? Have you heard this product? Would you like to try this product? I would love to hear your thoughts and comments, so please do leave those down below. And if you like to look at this video, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. So thank you so much for joining today, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye. This is where you need to hold up one of your little cards. Go, Mary, go. Yay! Okay.